Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox, and today in Buildbox Tips, we're talking gradient backgrounds. <clears throat> I, saw, I, I watched many videos, and I saw someone make a gradient background, and it took like five seconds, super easy to get done. But I also wanted to touch on the point of uh, kind of like a portrait background and a landscape background. And, um, this is something I've learned just through trial and error in trying to get my backgrounds to work properly. So, uh, gradients are pretty easy to make. I literally watched this video on YouTube and then two minutes into it I was like, oh yeah, that's how you do it. So, let me, let me grab the gradient. So here, ah, here we go. So. What you want is a landscape background. All backgrounds, no matter if your game is going up or down or whatever direction, you want them to be longer uh, width-wise than height. It's something on how BuildBox um, does their magic. But if you don't do this, then it will not work uh, the way you want it to until you do this. So. Let's just let's just jump into it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Standard game. Okay, so here we go. Uh, now I'm gonna put this in here. And I'm gonna do background. And we can see like, oh gee, that hey Al, that's not even the what are you talking about? That's that doesn't look right. Uh, yeah, I haven't done any uh, move down, yo. Uh, let me delete these and send to back. I'm gonna try to learn these hotkeys. Boom. Okay, so let's put it at a 90 degree rotation because this game goes up and down. Spread it out, and I kind of want it to be longer like that. Okay, so look. We originally made it landscape, we put it into BuildBox, flipped it, and now we hit play. And as you can see, the background is moving like way too fast, not, not cool. So you just go in, speed, cut it in half, do it again. Oh, I don't think that reset. And, and there we go. Probably going to want it to move a little bit slower, honestly, just because it's cooler that way. Um, and the background look, feels like it's going down up. Oh, geez, that's uh, that's not good. That's uh, that is definitely um, an issue in the file itself. something there in the corners. Um, yeah, what, can I add negative speed to it? Will that make it go opposite direction? I don't know, let's check it out. Yeah, it does. Okay, so that's what we want. Um, there, I, I'm pretty sure that's just an issue with the image that I made. So slow the speed. Now, what happens if you do try to use a uh, a portrait type looking background? Well, let's let's take a look. I have one of those. You make it, grab it, like background. Sweet, that's easy. Move it down here, and it doesn't move because it's there. We go. And so it looks like it already looks like it's good to go. So you're like, okay, cool. I'll just do this. Make it spreader. And let's do it. And that should be the same thing. Notice the speed here is at one. So I didn't change the speed. And if you actually look at it, it's actually going right to left because that's how BuildBox works. Like when when working with backgrounds. So if I move this 90 degrees.
it'll move in the right direction now because you can almost see the little I don't know if you can see but I can see like the little lines within the gradient um, that just means that the gradient needs to be a little bit finer uh, but it's, it's essentially not moving right uh, because this is a portrait landscape and not a this is a portrait background as opposed to a landscape background so Making your gradient backgrounds, be sure to make them landscape. And it's literally that easy. Obviously, I have an issue with mine, but that's in the creative. And yeah, that's how you do a cool gradient background. Play with the speed. Uh, let me know if this tip was helpful. And I will see you another day.